first in the news. Our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, told a local pastor that evangelical Christians were the worst part of Canadian society. Can you imagine? I mean, why would he even say such a thing? But John Arnott and his wife and also Steve Long of Catch the Fire Ministries, one of the largest churches in Canada, right there at the airport uh, near Toronto, near the Toronto airport, had a meeting with Justin Trudeau not too long ago. And Steve Long, Pastor Steve Long, posted on his Facebook and he said, I have met Justin Trudeau three times. I prophesied to him about eight years ago that God wanted him to be the leader of the Liberal Party of Canada. Sadly, my last meeting with him in his office was very disappointing. He told John and Carol Arnott and me that evangelicals were the worst part of Canadian society. Not good. Why would a leader say that evangelicals are the worst part of society. Evangelical Christians that seek to spread the love of Jesus Christ, to care for one another, to love others, are the worst people. Well, the reality is, is that in 2003, our society set up a new morality. That new morality was the redefinition of marriage. That new morality is now the law of Canada, and evangelical Christians are offside that law. Yes, we're against the law. And therefore, people like Justin Trudeau treat us as some kind of haters, that we hate homosexuals, which is the furthest thing from the truth. We love homosexuals, but we hate the sin. Homosexuality is self-destructive. The health Risks attached to homosexuality are spectacular, including up to 14 times the rate of suicide. So we don't want somebody to practice this out of love for them. But unfortunately, they have now set up a new, a new morality where right is wrong and wrong is right. This is the unfortunate position we as Christians find ourselves in. So now what should we do? We have a prime minister who says that we are the worst part of society. There are other headlines talking us about, about us being expunged from the political process. Why? Because exactly what Jesus Christ promised us would come to pass. Why did it come to pass? It's because we have not stood up and we have not put forward our position strong enough we look in the mirror and we think that society is simply going to see the good that is in our heart. But unfortunately, Jesus Christ promised that we would be persecuted for his name's sake, that we would be looked upon as the evil ones and those who practice homosexuality as the righteous. These are the days of Lot. These are the days of Noah. I encourage you to go to canadiantimes.ca and get the facts, sign the petitions, and stand up so that you can have your position put forward and righteousness can exalt this nation.